Hi everyone! Welcome back! <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? This is Patty Bennett. I am super duper excited to share with you several projects I've made, some of the products, sneak peeks from these two new catalogs. These are going to go live in 2020 and I am super duper excited about everything that's inside of them. I wish I could show you the inside. It would make so much more sense as we're going through the products, but demonstrators are not allowed to show the inside of the catalogs until January 3rd. So I have the products here. I have samples. I have ideas. I have tips. I have so much that I want to share with you. I'm really excited about this. So we will get started. I know I'm just a couple of minutes early, so I hesitate to jump into all the good stuff until it's actually top of the hour. So I just wanted to say hi to everybody. I am hoping that I can see the comments. I am I am still stuck without watching comments. I don't know what is going on with uh, Facebook and my iPad and I just wish I could see the comments. I don't know. It says comments off, but but I don't know. I it it's making me frustrated. So anyway, hoping that I can just catch them real quick on my phone here. If you're watching live, welcome again. I think we're just getting started here at the top of the hour. This is Patty Bennett. I blog at pattystamps.com and I received my Stampin' Up! pre-order and the product premiere that we were able to order in um, after on stage. So I have lots of products to show you. I've got them all organized by um, suite. So we're going to go through these. And again, I'm sorry if you're just logging on, I am not able to see comments very well. I they're not showing up on my iPad and I don't know what's going on. So I'm really sorry if you ask a question. Um, I just may not be able to see it. I'll try to go back later and catch comments. Hey, Tammy, I hope you're feeling better. I see that Tammy's on here and I know she's under the weather today. So welcome to everybody. We're going to get started. These are the two new catalogs that Stampin' Up! is releasing January 3rd, 2020 to customers. They are available to order from demonstrators right now. Celebration, as you know, contains free products that you earn when you uh, place orders of $50 or more. So $50 orders will earn certain products. $100 orders will earn other products. So that's how Celebration works. And the dates are right here, January 3rd to March 31st. And then this catalog is now being called, it's a mouthful, January to June 2020 mini catalog. We used to be used to seeing this as the occasions catalog or the spring mini catalog. Now it's renamed again. So if you hear me call it occasions or spring, I'm sorry. I've been around almost 25 years with Stampin' Up! and old habits die hard. <laughs> So I will try to get used to this. You can tell by the cover that this catalog is full of beautiful, bright, bold, wonderful flowers and more. And I love everything that's in here. So I'm going to be showing you lots of products and samples and tips. I was working last night on a lot of things throughout this catalog. So I think today we will try to get through most of the bundles and suites in this catalog and I'm going to save celebration for another day because I think otherwise we'd all need to like call a pizza and get our sleeping bags and our jammies because we'll be here all night. So we will get try to get through this catalog in this video and hopefully it will be off the screen because I'm going to be flipping through it so that I keep track of what's going on. So this is um, something fun that is in the Celebration catalog because this is a perk that demonstrators, new demonstrators who join during Celebration will get for free in their starter kit. It's this adorable little six inch mini trimmer and this amazing pack of six by six designer paper. So it's a sampling of some 
of the mini catalog and some celebration. And you can see that this cute little trimmer perfectly fits a six by six. So I'm just gonna chop this at three. Ta-da! Cuts beautifully, awesome. So I wanted to go over just real quickly the three ways that you can get this if this is of interest to you. So as I mentioned, right now, um, well, actually, I mentioned number three. We're going to go to number one. Right now, active demonstrators can purchase this bundle, all of this 6x6 and this cute little trimmer for $26.50 this month while supplies last. And that is the code if you haven't seen it online. So if you're not an active demonstrator and you have your heart set on getting this, there are two ways that you could get this. If you join Stampin' Up! right now, uh, and you're welcome to join my team, the Love to Stamp group. We're nationwide. I have men and women all over the U.S. in my on my team, um, about 365, I think, currently. You can join right now and put this in your starter kit if you would like to. So it would use up $26.50 of your $125 that you select in your starter kit. So that's one way you could do it right now, or you could join and then put this on your first order in December. Either way, that's how you could get it in December. If you are thinking about joining and you want to wait till celebration because there are other perks starting on January 3rd, you will get this, both of these, absolutely free in addition to your $125 in product and a free stamp set and the business supplies all for $99, free shipping, you do pay tax. So tomorrow at pattystamps.com, all of this will be listed. I just actually copied this right off of my blog post for tomorrow. You'll get all those details, pattystamps.com, tomorrow if you're interested in this adorable little mini 6x6 trimmer and 6x6 paper sampler bundle. So, woo, okay, we've got that out of the way. Let's jump into all the fun stuff. I really should take a picture of my countertop here with everything spread out. I have every suite and bundle organized. And then I also have, oh, I don't want to drop this. Hang on. I also have this full bucket all organized full of stuff. We're going to look at all of these fun things. Woohoo! So much fun. So hopefully out of sight. I'm hoping you can't see this since I'm not allowed to show you the inside. Okay, I think we're good. This is called the From My Heart Suite, and it has this adorable stamp set, perfect for Valentine's, for, um, I was going to say Thanksgiving, like, what the heck? I guess I still have Thanksgiving on my mind. <laughs> perfect for Valentine's and anniversaries and weddings and I love yous and all those sweet things. And it also can be purchased as a bundle with these two punches. And let me show you, I made this cute little chart to show you the punches. So you have both a regular, just a straight edged heart, and you also have this scalloped heart there on the upper top left, those two. And this represents all of the designer paper in the From My Heart um, designer paper package. And I don't know if you can see, I'm going to kind of tilt it so you can kind of see. Do you see how some of it is shiny? So one side has some beautiful foiling and then the other side would be the matte. And I just punched out one of everything and I think this is like beyond adorable. So cute love this paper this has got to be absolutely some of the best heart or valentine's paper that stampin up has had in forever absolutely love this okay so that would be if you punch out the hearts and then what's really fun is if you start layering those hearts together so here i have added in the doilies which i'll grab in just a second so that you could actually get three layers. Do you see how I've got the straight edged heart, the scalloped heart, and then the doily? So that shows you how you could do three layers. Here's two layers and two layers. You get the idea. Uh-oh, one of them came off. 
it's somewhere in there. I see this has sticky right there. There was something on top of there. That just came off. But anyway, you get the idea that these are super fun to layer. I absolutely had a blast doing this. There are also these cute little faceted gems. I think they would be fabulous as shaker card like sequins or fillers, or you can just glue them on. They are faceted where they come up to almost a point on one side and flat on the other. Here are the doilies we talked about. So you get a whole big package of them, red and uh, for flirty flamingo, real red flirty flamingo. They're all white on the other side. So if you wanted to do uh, actually a third color or brayer or sponge or spritz this side with any color whatsoever, you can do that. And then you can see how they layer adorably with the punched hearts as well. So th those are a must. I mean, I, I can't predict, but I could could fathom these selling out. Um, I don't know. You know, it's it's almost impossible to know. This is coming up on the next page. And then we have the red satin ribbon, double stitch satin ribbon. You can see the stitching there on both sides, both edges, I should say. Uh, very nice, very easy to tie and to work with. I did want to show you because I was skeptical. You might be too. So on this sheet where you can actually punch out these hearts, I looked at this and I thought, oh, I don't even know if you could cut a straight line down here. Yes, you can. So I just put it in my trimmer and you can absolutely cut this into strips and then of course it makes it easy to come in with your punch from both directions because the hearts are printed both ways. And then on the back, you do have um, a directional print. So if you're punching, wanting this one, make sure that you punch you know, the right direction. But yes, I was super happy to see that you can cut that right into strips. And then this was the other one that I had punched out that works with the punch. So that is this one right here. Aren't these amazing? So that's all the DSP, all the patterns in this pack. I am not going to flip through every page because this gives you an idea of what they all are. And then just because I was curious, I did use the stitched heart dies that we have and I cut out a few because I wanted to know if these layer with these punches. So the answer is sort of. They are not the same shape. So the stitched heart is taller, like it's stretched, and the new hearts here on this DSP are a little wider. So you could, I mean, you could absolutely like do that. That would be adorable. But to actually try to layer them, it does not come out perfect. And I just, I knew you'd want to know. And I like to try to give information like that when I can. So you can see the difference. You see that, how some of it kind of sticks out. So just, just because I knew you'd want to know that. I love this bundle, this whole suite. Everything about this is amazing. And on, oh, oh, wait, cuteness. Look at these cute little tins. You can fill these with goodies and you can actually bake in them. And they have lids, plastic lids. You could use these as cute little cups too. You could get like double if you didn't need to cover the tin. You could actually get two separate cute little um, containers if you wanted to. But one tip that I did see on the Stampin' Up! video was when you go to put the lid on, put this down onto a tabletop surface before you pop the lid on, and that will just help to keep this from like, you don't want to crumple it by pressing too hard with two hands. So there it is with the lid. And I also saw this tip on the Stampin' Up! video that these doilies are sized right to go inside. Adorable! How cute is that? 
How cute is that? So if you were baking in these, of course, don't put this inside. But if you're not baking in there, and then look, perfect in the lid as well. <laughs> so cute. So adorable. Oh my gosh, yes. So I would suggest ordering really early for any of your Valentine's supplies. I would not wait until February to order anything out of this suite. So if you think that this looks like fun and you want to order supplies for Valentine's, man, do that soon. I, I mean, serious. You just will not regret that. And the other thing, if you go to page 12, if you have a catalog already, you'll see this bundle. So this is not to be overlooked because it has this great Happy Valentine's Day sentiment. I absolutely love how that looks. And then you could do other greetings in here for weddings or uh, anniversaries. And then this is an amazing die where it'll cut out um, a big like a big background piece, but it also cuts out all the little hearts that you could use for confetti. So that is very fun. Love all of this. I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to grab the next uh, suite, which is the Parisian Blossoms. Super amazing. So you'll have to excuse me for disappearing for half a second between each one of these because um, I have stuff all over downstairs and I have counters and tables and they're filled with all of these piles. So I apologize that this is um, that I'm disappearing from time to time. <laughs> so Parisian Blossoms Suite. Beautiful, amazing. And I see somebody just said bonjour from France. Hello, Marie. Uh, Marie Noel. Beautiful name. Love that name. Hello, bonjour. <laughs> so I love everything in this suite because it's flowers and it's classic and it's Eiffel Tower and it's pink and it's beautiful. And I wanted to start off by showing you the Parisian Flourish embossing folder. And what I did was I ran these two pieces through the embossing folder and then I took a sponge and I lightly inked the top half of each of these because it really makes your pattern stand out. Now you're not going to want that on every project, of course, but it is an option. So I just wanted to show you how that brings out the pattern. In person, this is absolutely gorgeous. I hope it's coming across uh, as just as well in the um, video because it's beautiful. So that's the Parisian Flourish embossing folder. Also in this suite are the gorgeous champagne rhinestones. So these are a really soft, almost a rose gold, pink tint gold, which I guess that's what rose gold is. These are gorgeous. Love these. Going to use these on a lot of things for sure. There are two bundles in this sweet. So one of them is the Parisian Beauty stamp set and the Parisian dies and you can see how this will cut out the stamp or you can use it stand alone. It has words and it has a pretty flourish. I love the script and the font. Really nice. And then the other one is more flourishy. I mean, well, flowery, and it has cherry blossoms, which I love. We get tons of cherry blossoms around here in February and March, and I love this. So this is going to be gorgeous to work with. I absolutely love that this will die cut out your cherry blossom image because, you know, who wants to fussy cut all that? That's a lot of cutting. And then, of course, you have other pretty, pretty flowers with it. The ribbon in this suite is probably going to be my favorite in the whole mini catalog. It is petal pink with metallic edge, and it has that kind of same champagne gold, which I don't know, I to me I would just call it rose gold. This must be a new thing, champagne gold. I don't know about that, but um, I mean champagne metallic, excuse me. I would call it rose gold, but can call it whatever you'd like. It's beautiful. And then the paper, I'll just flip through some of this quickly. I wanted you to see that it has these beautiful metallic 
highlights. Isn't that amazing? So, so, so pretty. So I've flipped every other one just so you can see the two sides. So there are the first several beautiful patterns. And then let me just go to these and show you. Look again, how gorgeous. Look at all that foiling. It's so pretty. And I think this might be one of my very favorites. Look at that script in foil. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right? How pretty. These two are my favorites. I think if I could just get a whole pack of that, I would just be so happy. So gorgeous. So pretty. Aren't they amazing? I love this suite. I can just see so many possibilities with this. So how are you liking these so far? Amazingness? Yes? Yes, yes? I hope so. Um, I, I'm sorry that I'm, I know I'm missing some comments. Let's see. Um, to coordinate with, oh, the champagne foil. Yes, Amy, I agree. That is going to be great. Had not thought of it that way. Good point. Excellent. Okay, so then there is, as I'm just going straight through the catalog. I'm on page 18. This die I just loved. I had to have this lasting elegance. And what I loved on the sample is how they took a card front and they put these two together to make a beautiful frame. So don't miss that. I think that is amazing. And it also has this edge piece so that you could die cut the edge. You don't have to fussy cut if you wanted to use this as a standalone piece and then have a die cut edge. So that is on page 18. It does have a coordinating stamp set, by the way. And then, okay, now we're getting to absolutely one of my favorite things in the catalog. Check this out. So this set of dies is called Stitched So Sweetly. And, okay, I don't want to mislead you, so I want to show you. I'm going to cover, cover this up. So this, here and here, would be what you get. I actually bought two sets because I do so much die cutting. So I have two sets of the scalloped rectangles on one magnet sheet and two sets of the labels on the other. So I don't want you to get confused. I don't want to want you to think that you get all of that. You would get this when you purchase it. So I bought the bundle plus an extra one in my pre-order. That's how I got two sets. But okay, just so we have that out of the way. So these rectangles are all stitched. And what I did, just kind of for my own reference, was I cut one of each size, and I'm going to keep them in this little bag right in here so that I can really easily see, and I could check real quickly and say, oh gosh, okay, I need one that's this size for a greeting or whatever. And so that's going to be helpful. But aren't they cute with the scalloped edge? Oh my gosh, love 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 okay so that's part of it and then the other part are these amazing labels and you can see that i used the stamp set that comes in the bundle to stamp the words and then use these labels as the die cuts and i just had fun doing one of each so that I could see what they were like because you know you just kind of get a get a feel for them but then let me show you the cards that I made oh my goodness oh my goodness I don't know I think they're amazing <laughs> so oh good I'm glad you like that Sharon for the reference for cutting one of each shape yeah so I used the tropical designer paper, both for stamping the greeting and for my little note cards. And I just started layering. So here you can see I used that one. 
But then I cut one of these just in So Saffron cardstock to layer under there. And then, did you see what I did? Check that out. This size of scalloped rectangle is underneath there for yet a third layer. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know. I'm just super excited. I absolutely love how these turned out. <laughs> and then here's this one. And I labeled it again onto that size of rectangle die. So you can see how completely versatile this is when you get all of these in that sti stitched so sweetly, oh my goodness, set of dies, and you can buy it as a bundle with the stamp set. How versatile, how amazing that is. And then I did two more with another pattern from the Tropical DSP. And again, layering three of those from this set here and two of those in that one. Do you like them? I hope you like them. Oh my goodness, I just love these. I think these are so fun. And I also used some of the new Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon here and some of the, what, this is right here, actually. This is called the Mint Macaron Sheer Linen Ribbon. So I used that on that one. And it's from an upcoming suite, from the Dressed to Impress suite. So I'll show you that in a minute. But I just wanted to point it out on the card. And these two, this is that pink ribbon we were just looking at in the Parisian suite. And this one is one of the current in color, the uh, peacock ribbon. So I pulled out, do you see the difference how I pulled out the pinks in this one? And I pulled out the blues in this one, yet it's the same paper. I feel like I'm doing a magic deck. Act. <laughs> ah, okay, pretty funny. Thank you, Libby. I'm glad you like them. <laughs> And then these, these little embellishments um, I'll show you coming up. They are in the tropical suite, and so are these little, um, they're sequins, but they're teeny tiny little flowers. Can you see that? And then these cop, um, excuse me, brass or metal embellishments are also in the tropical suite. So I just wanted to show you how fun it is to die cut yourself a few of these, play with the stamp set, play with all the different layers, get to know all of the pieces, and it will just be so much fun to start layering. And also, just because I knew that this would be of interest, our other rectangle stitched dies, I thought, oh, I bet they coordinate. But they really, they don't exactly. I mean, yes, you could completely do that. You could layer that. But I was hoping that there would be one that layers like perfectly. So this is kind of the closest to having it layer. But you can see that it's not equal around all four sides. It looks fine. I just thought maybe they would nest exactly. And they don't. So it was just, just something that I wanted to try. And I thought you would be interested to see that. So same thing here. It nests, but it's not a perfect, um, you know, stitch to stitch. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, it's just fun to have all the pieces, put them all in a little baggie, keep them together. So I'm going to put them back in my little clear envelope. And then I'm going to store that back in here with my magnet sheets and my um, plastic envelopes. And that will stay together. And by the way, I do purchase my magnet sheets and these new little envelope folder things uh, at Stampin' Storage. And I will try to remember to put a link up at the top of this video and on my blog for that, but you can go to pattystamps.com and click on my craft room up at the top and you'll find links if you like those and you wanted to store yours in a similar way. They don't come from Stampin' Up! like that, so I definitely should stress that, that you're not going to receive those from Stampin' Up! on a magnet sheet. I just store my own that way. So that is the So Sentimental Bundle, page 20. Then the next thing I'm going to show you is the Peaceful Poppies Suite. 
and that is here. Sorry, I think I just knocked the camera. Sorry about that. Oh, Cindy, thank you. I'm glad you like those. She liked the cards. Thank you so much. All right, so Peaceful Poppies is another one of these kind of mega sweets that has actually two stamp sets and two sets of dies. And I really am not going to stress myself from now on about which one goes with which one. All four of them work together. They're amazing. So it's nice that you can purchase one bundle or the other bundle or both or the whole suite, but you don't have to. You can pick and choose what you like. So that's nice. But the greetings in this one are lovely. I absolutely love the fonts on here. And then all of these are going to make beautiful poppy flowers. Gorgeous with all the leaves and all the layers. And then this one, you have the actual poppy images to stamp or to watercolor in or whatever you'd like to do with them. And then you can use the dies to die cut out some of the pieces. And then you also have nice labels and other pieces to embellish. I love these. This is called Peaceful Poppies Elements. And these are amazing because the, all of the artwork is done for you on these two sheets. They're very heavy cardstock, super thick cardstock. And so you, they're not stickers. You would put them on dimensionals or use your snail or whatever adhesive to adhere them to your project. Now this, I don't know. Yeah, I think you might be able to see this. This is a whole sheet of vellum. I think there's yeah, two, two sheets of vellum. And they're printed in white on vellum, and they're beautiful. So again, you would just pop those out and use them on your projects. And this is watercolor paper, two sheets, and I'm trying to catch it in the light so you can see. These images are actually embossed in white on watercolor paper, so you can watercolor these, and the white embossing will resist. And these are going to be amazing because it saves you the time of embossing, but you've got the watercolor paper and the embossing all done. Those are going to be gorgeous. And then there are two sheets of elements in black with black uh, kind of metallic shiny sort of embossed. So these are amazing. I am going to purchase many packs of these to make beautiful poppy cards. This is a poppy card that we made at the onstage event and just very simple. You can see how you can just use a couple of patterns and make a very simple card. What I love though about this paper is that you can actually just cut up a piece of this and put a greeting on it and you could be done. I mean, this paper is amazing, gorgeous. So many of these sheets are just kind of standalone. The artwork is done. They're beautiful. And then look at that. How gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. And then smaller version of the poppies with some black outline. And then you have this piece that kind of looks like it's watercolored. And then big, bold images. This one, I mean, how easy. Cut this at four and eight, and then you have cut it down the middle and you have six cards ready to go. Oh, love. And then another piece that looks like it's watercolored. So this, the artwork is like just so already done for you. I think this is gorgeous, gorgeous, fabulous. Great job stamping up. I just really want to hug the person who did this artwork because I think it's beyond amazing. Then we have Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon, which you can color with a sponge dauber, with a spritzer, with a Stampin' Blend marker. You can soak it in a little jar with some reanchor. So you can dye this any color you wish. Fabulous. Love. And then here are those little embellishments that, uh-oh, I'm losing a couple here, that I was showing you on the other card where it had the little flower. So some of these are flower shaped and some of these are just like sequin shaped, you know, round with the facets on them. So these will be great for either embellishing on cards with a dot of glue or a glue dot or as shaker pieces. Whoa, love, I mean, good grief. Is that just so 
beyond amazing. I think this, this suite is just completely outdone itself. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Next up, we're going to look at a punch. I'm going to jump into my, well, not literally jump. And I haven't opened this one yet, so we're going to look at this one together. I think almost everything else I have opened and ready. But this one is on page 29. It's part of a bundle, or you can purchase it on its own. And it is called the Braided Border Punch. So let's just punch and let's see how it works. This is when I always hope and pray that I do this right and it comes out. So then I believe the easiest way is just so you you can see what it punched. Okay, so then you're just going to slide upwards. And do you see right here? That's what I'm looking at. When you see that it matches up, like there it's not matching, but here it matches. So that's when you would punch again. And then you just say a little prayer that you did it right because you're live on uh, camera. <laughs> and so here I can see what I did was I didn't probably have this pushed in um, flush over on this side. So make sure that you do that. I was more concentrating on looking at that and I got this little wiggle right there. But that is really pretty. And there is a stamp image in the bundle that you can stamp and it shows in the catalog how to use your stamp apparatus to um, help line up the stamped image with your punched image. So that is going to be fun. And again, that is called the braided border punch. Then we have, I have my reminder here to get out celebration DSP because this bundle in the mini catalog page 30 coordinates with the free paper that you can get in the celebration catalog and I think I need to speed up because man this has taken a while isn't it but I just wanted to show you quickly that this free celebration paper has beautiful gold foiling and black and white images on one side and then on the other side, it's just black and white. So this is really versatile. You don't have to use this as part of the Honey Bee Bundle if you didn't want to. There's lots of patterns in here that would work just for any general project making. Or you can coordinate it with this. So don't miss out on that as um, one of the free items in the uh, celebration. Celebration catalog. I love this. This is on page 31. This stamp set is new, but it coordinates with the ornate frames. So this was in the holiday catalog, and it was in the section with um, Halloween. So don't miss this. This is wonderful carrying over and you can see how they coordinate with these dies look at that how fun is this look at that you can cut out all of these images with these so don't miss out on this if you don't have this yet I think this is a must and if you're wondering about this so I have these little post-it tabs and when I run it through my die cutting machine and I want to cut out an image, I stick it to the paper, to the stamped image to run it through so that it doesn't move around. Even though it's on the magnetic platform usually when I do it, sometimes they still move. So that's what those are. And then I don't just use them once, I use them over and over. So I just stick it back on the magnetic sheet. Also on page 31, is this amazing new stamp set. I got this as a prize patrol at um, on stage in Portland. And you know me and flowers and coloring, so how could you go wrong with this? You could also just emboss this in white on a color. If you weren't into coloring, you could stamp it in black on white and just leave it. You could color just one image, all of them. I mean, this this is going to be super versatile, and I cannot wait to use this. I just, you know, I need more time. If anybody finds that more time button that 
you know, I, I don't know where that went, but I would love to have more time to stamp more things. <laughs> okay, we're going to move quickly. Page 3233. Hope this is still out of camera view. This is called the Birthday Bonanza Suite, and it has just overload of cuteness in it. There is a bundle with these dies and the coordinating stamp set and you can kind of see here you build your own little koala and monkey i think is that a monkey wait did i say that wrong no that's a lion i saw that tail and i was thinking it was a monkey good grief sorry <laughs> and a toucan and then you have cute little birthday greetings and what my eye went to immediately was this tag and what i wanted to know is does this tag which die cuts this layer with these amazing new stitched scalloped rectangles and it does oh my gosh look how cute how fun is that going to be that's going to make the most adorable tag you could do this and you could use your die to simply die cut out that little toucan, put him on there, put happy birthday, and you have a bag tag or uh, the start of an adorable little card. So again, I'm gonna keep that in here to remind myself that that is such a fun possibility. This big sweet birthday sweet also has, I don't want these to go everywhere when I open it, cute little pom-poms. So when you get your catalog, you'll see that they put these at the top of the birthday hats and they put them uh, just as little embellishments. Very cute. It also has the yellow ruched ribbon that we already looked at on one of the cards. Ties very nicely. And then if you're making party favor bags, and I'm thinking I'm using these for Valentine's as well. These are in the suite. They're three inches by nine inches and gusseted and pre-printed. Super cute. Little, they're just kind of little like starbursts. So very versatile. You could use them for boy or girl for Valentine's. I would even use that for like a wedding or a shower. Why not, right? You could, I would do that for just about anything. And we'll look very quickly through the paper so that we can get through these other sweets and products. So cute. Look at that cute koala. The toucan is my favorite. There are birthday patterns as well as just kind of some neutral patterns. There's the lion. Sorry, he's not a monkey. Duh. I don't know. Some days, you know. <laughs> so cute, cute, cute patterns and versatile for lots of different occasions as well as birthday. And I think, you know, I think you could do this for almost any age, don't you? I mean, there's no age limit on cute birthday stuff, right? I think not. I think there's no age limit there. I am now looking at page 35. I just wanted to show you this bundle. These dies are going to be gorgeous. They have shown them in the catalog as either making a banner out of these or a card front or using them to stencil through. This is going to be very fun to use. I am excited to use that. And this set, this is on 37. And I don't know, do you ever do this? I bought this set because of one stamp. Talk about awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, it just cracks me up. I absolutely love that stamp. So I had to buy that set because... I absolutely love that set. <laughs> oh, I know. I know, I know. Silly, right? So silly. Okay, next up is Tropical Oasis. This is definitely like in my top three of all of the fun products in this catalog. And I have a couple samples to show you. So the whole suite has this bundle. It has an embossing folder it has um, embellishments, this great burlap ribbon, it has a new brown stays on, and it has a Memories and More pack. So hang on one second, I forgot the embossing folder over here. 
sorry about that. Okay, here's the embossing fold folder. It's called Coastal Weave. And as I did with that previous one, I just sponged a little bit of ink up at the top because I wanted you to see how it really brings out the color or the pattern and the texture. And you don't have to, you can just emboss. But I really love just that little bit it's just our regular round yellow sponge, cut it in quarters, and then just lightly sponged. Oh, somebody was just asking about the sleeves that I have my DSP in. They're just large 12 by 12 plastic sleeves, and I bought 50 of them on Amazon in a pack. And I, sorry, I don't even know what the company was, but if you search 12 by 12 plastic sleeve or plastic envelope on Amazon, you will find these. They were very inexpensive. And I think it was either 50 or 100 in a pack. And I just, I like that it holds up a little better. And I, I just kind of don't like dealing with that shrink wrap stuff. So that's why I do that. Good question. Glad I saw that comment go by. And I'm sorry if you're asking comments. I'm so busy trying to show you all this, and I'm, I forget to watch for comments. Yeah, they're not showing up on my iPad, and that really... Anyway, so there we go. <laughs> I'm doing my best. So there's the embossing folder. Here is the beautiful bundle. I love hibiscus. I think there's such a gorgeous flower. I wish I could grow them. That's one thing I can't grow in my garden. I have tried. But at any rate, beautiful palm trees. You can make a really big, um, no, I was going to call that a pine cone. That would be a pineapple. <laughs> and then, of course, little flowers and leaves. Let me show you these cards that I made. So these two cards I made stamping this hibiscus onto watercolor paper and I used the saddle brown um, ink pad the new ink pad because with the stays on it allows you to watercolor and it won't run so this is watercolor pencils I just did some scribbling with watercolor pencils took a wet paint brush and I just pulled the color and that's all I did it's not hard it's just a matter of thinking about your colors before you start, where you want your darker colors and what colors you want to use. And I will have these on my blog in the future with a little mini tutorial about that, but I just wanted to show you how pretty they turn out. And you could layer these onto the designer paper, or what I did was I used the Memories and More card pack. You can actually see that one right here. And I layered that one onto... These are the Memories and More cards and envelope packs in the annual catalog. So I used the card. You can see there's the, the card. And just layered these. They're meant for this size, so the 4 by 6 fits. And then I took... This is the envelope liner that comes with these. I used that as a template, and I traced onto the designer paper, and I made the liners... Pretty? Do you like? I like. I think it's so pretty. This one I just stamped in the middle, and this one I used elements from the Memories and More pack. So that is two examples for you, combining lots of the products in this suite. Oh, glad you like it. Thank you for the comments that are going by. Thank you, thank you. Let's see. Oh, I should probably flip through this real quick just so you can see some of the other patterns you can see that I've been using oh is this one so cute I know that's upside down sorry the Ford Woodies that reminds me of playing with Hot Wheels when I was little and that looks like a Hawaiian shirt so does that these are beautiful patterns in here this is definitely something I'll buy several packages of and then I think we looked at these a little bit on a card previously, but these are the Tropical Oasis Trinkets. And they are, let's see, does it actually say, it doesn't really say if they're like brass or metal or what, but, but very pretty. They're brass colored and the color goes really well with this whole palette here. All right. Oh, and I, I think I mentioned the burlap ribbon. 
Okay, so next up, let me show you a couple of punches that have had a little bit of confusion in the catalog. Because in the catalog, these two punches are shown, they have very similar names, label me lovely, label me fancy, but the descriptions are switched in the catalog. The actual name matched the packaging that I received. So I labeled them with the name that the package had on them, and I hope that's correct. I think Stampin' Up! is going to need to put out a memo about this because I don't know if people are going to receive the punch that they think they're getting, but it's a little confusing. So um, before you should order that, you might want to check with Stampin' Up! your demonstrator or me if I'm your demonstrator and just check and see which one is which for sure. If you're buying them both, it doesn't even really matter, but if you're just buying one or something, then you need to, you know, you need to know which one's which. So this one you can see is going to coordinate with that stamped image in the Layered with Kindness. And this one, oh, actually, let me do it in a different color because I'm going to label these so that you can see this. This one will punch out that one. And then you could layer them as they show in the catalog. So very fun, again, all that coordination of product. And if you wanted to punch a hole or a slot in either one of these, it, it doesn't matter which one, you can put this, let me just see if I can get that kind of in the center. You can put this back in and you can get a hole or on this one, if you wanted to do kind of a, like a dog tag looking, I think, let's see. That's what I have in my mind anyway. Yep, so then you can do a little slot. You could do a slot on both sides and weave ribbon through it. So to me, I would just get them both and then play with both of them and layer them and coordinate them. But if you're only looking to purchase one, just be aware that it seems that the description in the catalog is switched and I don't want anybody to purchase the wrong thing. You know, I want you to get what you think you're getting. So hopefully there will be a clarification on that. So speaking of punches, let me show you two more in the catalog. These two bundles are next up on 42 and 43. Cute umbrella set with umbrella punch matching uh, punches out those. Or you could just punch out designer paper and make you know a cute little umbrella that way. And then this is something that we made at Onstage in Portland. And it is the tulip set with punch. And you can see that the tulip, the big one punches out the big one. And then this you can add a second layer over the punch, over the tulip, or you can punch out the leaf. So very versatile in that sense. And let's see. Yes, slide ribbon through. Exactly, Catherine. Exactly. That punch before. Okay, I did not buy the Easter stamps yet because I figured I need to get going on all of the other parts that we have here for Valentine's and uh, other spring uh, samples. So I don't have the Easter stamps to show you yet, but I will be getting those. And we just have two more sweets to go through. Again, I have everything all over this room. I, it's just kind of crazy that I have so many things spread out. But this is on page 46 and 47. It's called Country Club Suite. It has a great die and stamp set that coordinate. Since both of my guys golf, my husband and son and my dad and my father-in-law, I have four people to make these cards for. So this is going to be really fun. The paper is really cute, has lots of great patterns in it 
that you associate with golfing the golf cart, the argyle. And then you also just have some plaid and some other more generic so that you could use this for, you know, Father's Day or lots of different manly cards. The embossing folder is called Absolutely Argyle. And again, I sponged half of that so you could see the difference of how it stands out when you give it a little sponged ink. And it's just the round sponge cut into quarters and then rubbed across and it just catches the raised portion. I did try it on the other side and I was not as thrilled with that. It's okay, but I liked this side better. And again, you don't even have to do that, but, but it is kind of a fun folder. And there is the twine, and there's also some country club elements that I, I guess I either missed ordering that or I don't know where they are, but they're wooden elements that you can use in coordination with all of this. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you today, it's completely adorable, and this is called the Best Dressed Suite has lots of parts to it. I'm going to also show you some cute cards that I made. Well, I think they're cute. So here is the bundle, and it has really cute dress-up elements. Oh my goodness, if you, um, if you played with paper dolls or you enjoyed any kind of dress up when you were little, you're just gonna really resonate with this. It's so cute, super cute. And it has the dies that will cut those out. This piece right here, you would cut two of these and it makes a cute little purse that you can put little gifts, favors, or mini cards in. I'm going to show you those mini cards. We made these at on stage. The envelope front and back and inside is all printed and then this little swatch of color on each one is printed. So here's how they come. Look how many you get. How many do you get? I'm just reading in the catalog. Hang on. You get 24. Look at that. How fun eight of each kind. So those are already, that's what I mean about already printed like that. So you could very simply stamp something on them or you could gussy them up and make them really fancy. But they fit into the little purse that this die makes. And I'm sorry I have not had time to actually make that yet, but I will. And then the tassels are also in this suite and you can color these with blends or dip them in some reinker in water or spritz them if you want to alter the color. The paper in this suite is six by six. So let me just show you that it has lots of beautiful florals on one side. And then on the other side, it has kind of generic patterns as well as the cute makeup and purses and shoes and all of those little dress up elements. So you could either cut those out or you could just use the whole sheet. And the last thing I'm gonna share with you is some cards I made with this suite. I took, this is a celebration gift, this card kit. It's called Kerchief Card Kit because the pattern that's printed on here is kind of reminiscent of a handkerchief that you would wear like as a bandana. Although I I didn't see it that way, but once I read it, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it does. I just saw flowers. I just, you know, I think they're cute. So you have four of each color of the cards. You have gold foil elements. You have eight of the envelopes that are printed on the inside. You have eight vellum pieces. You have, you have these pre-printed die cuts that you can punch out. This is, and twine and dimensionals and sticky dots. 
I mean, this is like a big, wonderful free kit. And let me show you what I made. So I took this sheet. You can see that I've cut it up and I cut out the peach colored soft. Um, let's see, what would this be? This is probably petal pink, I'm guessing. I'm looking at the colors of the DSP. So this is probably petal pink. I cut those out and I added them to the card, the kerchief card. But look what I did. Do you see that cute scalloped rectangle, stitched rectangle? I took this piece. It has the lipstick on one side. And I die cut that to lay over it to pull in the petal pink color. Oh, I love. These are already printed. Those are the gold elements in the kit. So I made four of those. Love. And then the blue cards, this color did not go with this paper. And I didn't want to look any further. I just made them the way that the kit shows. So that's how the, gold, the blue cards with the gold would look when you make those. And again, that is the free celebration kit. So, oh my goodness, we did it. And it's an hour. We did it in an hour. I did not think I could do all that in an hour. I hope you have enjoyed that. If you need a demonstrator, I am more than happy to help you. You can find me at pattystamps.com. You can also comment here on my business Facebook page or on YouTube, wherever you might be watching this. And I hope that you will enjoy all of these new products. If you need catalogs, let me know. If you need help or in answering any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to help. And I hope you have an amazing day. And I'm going to get stamping with all these new things. So thanks again for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye.